um, I've done several videos on how olive oil, if I consume a large quantity of it, it has various effects on me that I can physically feel. Um, and I wanted to, wanted to do another one on green tea. Um, I've had noticed two effects from green tea and I'll, I'm just focusing on one in this video, but I noticed um, probably about six years ago. Uh, one of the one of the teas I was drinking was a uh, Japanese sencha tea, green tea, and I noticed if I if I made it really strong and drank it when it was really hot, I would it would sort of induce this meditative state, and it's. This is something I get into in one of my other videos, how olive oil does the same thing. If I consume olive oil in large quantities, it induces like a, a, a deep meditative state. So I noticed this with the sencha tea and somewhat with uh, like a, a matcha tea, matcha green tea, but the sencha is, is the strongest effect and then i would say the matcha so just wanted to mention that um i relate this uh i went through a certain period uh probably 15 to 20 years ago and i i had a uh a guru and, and she told me that uh it's a long story but she she told me that I, I explained to her how a certain foods affect me in certain ways. And I didn't mention the tea because I hadn't really noticed it back then. Um, but I mentioned the olive oil. And, and she related it to, she lived in a couple of ashrams. And she said when yogis prepare to meditate, there are actually certain foods that they, they consume because it helps them get into a meditative state. So it helps them get deeper than they normally would and, and to do it faster. And she said one of the one of the foods I believe was green tea. I'm pretty sure. And here I discovered this like you know, 20 years later. Um, but another one, it wasn't olive oil, but she said they would drink ghee. So she was she was relating my experience with the olive oil to their consumption of ghee. I guess because they're fats, right? So anyhow, uh, that's it. Thanks.